what's going on everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a sales order using the LaceUp app, and then I'm gonna show you how to process that sales order and print out the final invoice in the back office. To begin creating the sales order, you tap LaceUp. That's gonna open up a list of your customers. These are the customers associated to a particular sales rep. To begin creating the sales order, you tap on the customer, you tap the three dots, and you go to sales order. If you look here, the sales order template is going to show you exactly what that customer traditionally orders from you. The first item is Cafe Rico Rico. The last time they bought this from me was on 3-4. They bought five cases at 34-35. The on hand is three in my warehouse, and I sell an average per week at 35. The current price in accounting system, taking into account all price levels, is 34-35. To add this product to the order, I tap the plus, I put in a quantity, and I tap set. And I just go down the list doing the exact same thing. If I want to add something not on the list, I tap search. I select the item, and I add it to the order. To view only what I put on the order, I go menu, add it all, that's my order. Before I send the order, I'm able to set the PO number in case the customer has a PO. And lastly, I'm able to set the delivery date. When I'm done building my order, I simply tap send order and I click yes. That's going to transmit the order to the back office. In the back office, your employee is going to have open this process order screen. Here's the order I've just transmitted. The very first step is to print the picking ticket. The picking ticket's what you give the warehouse team in order to be able to print out what was ordered and go pick it in the warehouse. Here's the item code, here's the quantity ordered, and the description. Basically, the warehouse manager is going to write on here the quantity that was actually picked. When the warehouse manager is done picking the order, they're gonna return this pick ticket to the back office where you're able then to make any changes to the order. The last step before transmitting the order to QuickBooks is to invoice the customer. To do so, you click the order and you click print order. That's going to print out the invoice. If you look, here are the details. Here's my invoice number, my PO, my terms, etc. After the invoice is printed, the final step is to transmit this order to QuickBooks. To do so, you go send orders, highlight the order, and export it. Here's my invoice number, ABC 1096. Let's go into QuickBooks and search ABC 10. 96. There we are. And just like that, we've run through a full cycle of creating a sales order, sending it to the back office, picking it, printing the final invoice, and then exporting everything to QuickBooks. Thanks for watching this latest installment of the Lace Up Sales Order Processing Tutorial. Please stay tuned for daily tutorials or visit our website down below at www.laceupsolutions.com for more information. Thank you and have a great day.